Well, we're back here at the Forest Green home with our good friend Rob Patterson from Arbor Insulation. And looking at this, I think you're probably going to tell us something about uh, doing diagnostics while you insulate. Is that right? That's right, Doug. You've probably seen these before. Yeah, we use them for our retrofits and also for our remodels all the time. So what are you using them for, though? Well, kind of the same idea. We're trying to find the leaks, but we're going to do it before the drywall goes on. So mm. in conjunction with the blower door and this thermal camera, we're going to go around and uh, seal them up now before the drywall happens and make the home as tight as possible probably a heck of a lot easier to get those leaks now than uh, later when all the finishes are on, right? Oh, there's no question about that. What do you do on a day like today where there's no real difference between inside and outside? Don't you need a temperature differential for the camera to work? Yeah, we do. So we're not going to use this today. We're, we have a smoke machine. We're going to fill the house up with smoke, turn the fan on, and then find out where the leaks are that way. That's pretty cool. So what, is there any drawbacks to making a house this tight? I wouldn't call it a drawback, but we do make it tight, and sometimes it does require additional ventilation. Mm -hmm. Well, we use ERVs or energy recovery ventilators as standard on all our projects, so we're pretty into ventilating a house right and building it tight in the first place, but what would you say are the drawbacks to doing that? Well, I wouldn't call it a drawback. The new energy code is going to require a blower door test on. We are insulating a home so tight, it's almost half the standard that is currently in place. And we've been doing blower door tests for a long time to find the leaks. So there's not really a drawback by ventilating it with a proper unit because you save energy you recover some of that energy and reuse it, and the home is more comfortable, and the air quality is, is tons better than any other home in America, really. Yeah, I can understand that, and I know that uh, homes in America tend to underperform in that aspect, so it's nice to see an insulation company that's thinking about that stuff. Yeah, well, we try to do that. So many homes lose air through the attic and through the basement, but the air inside the house isn't replaced. It's just the same stale air being recirculated and recirculating. So get the fresh air to the places where people are actually gonna use it. Exactly. Great. Well, thanks a lot, Rob. I appreciate you coming out today. All right, thanks.